What's up? This is Callisto from ProGaming-Tips.com. Whenever you get a chance, you always want to try and force the tank to climb. Because when sometimes when the tank climbs, their AI can get bugged out and caught in a loop. So whenever there's an object you can get on or a building you can get on top of, you always want to go for it. is kind of a terrible idea, but Nick doesn't seem to care because he just wants his gay achievement. You always want to keep your distance from the tank. The problem is the tank runs just a little bit faster than the survivors do. But there's something you can do to slow them down. If you, whenever the tank takes a bullet, it slows him down a little bit so that he's just a little bit slower than the survivors. So what you want to do is constantly be firing on him. Just unload with your main weapon and then instead of reloading with your main weapon, it's usually a better idea to switch to your pistol just to keep the fire on him. Taking down the tank is all about teamwork. You've got to juggle the tank's attention to take them off your teammates so that they don't get cornered and killed. Meleeing a tank twice is the perfect way to get his attention, and it's pretty much the only way to save your downed teammates when they're getting raped by a tank. When you end up one on one with the tank, the first thing you have to worry about is survival. Damage comes second. Even though the hunting rifle does more damage than my pistol, I go with the pistol because it has a faster rate of fire and it reloads faster. So that's going to keep the tank away from me and that's all I'm worried about when I'm one on one because I could beat the tank in a marathon but I can't beat him in a damage contest. Teabagging is crucial. Once you get good at keeping the tank away from you, all you gotta worry about are the rocks. Uh, the tank has perfect aim, but luckily the rocks are a projectile, so he has to lead wherever you're going to hit you with him. So the trick is, when you see him picking up a rock, you want to move one direction, and by the time he throws it, you want to start moving in the other direction, and that way you'll juke him. Group teabagging is a great way to build chemistry and send a message to the tanks.